And now, your Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. And good morning, everybody. We're taking a live look here across downtown Midland, looking really, really nice for us, all thanks to our West Texas State Bank weather cam for this really, really nice image here for us. The radar and satellite isn't looking to be any kind of problems here for us. What you're seeing here, all these greens, this is just false echo returns being picked up by the radar, so really nothing to worry about. And here, I think the satellite's just picking up a little bit what's happening here in the low levels. It's a little bit moist down there for us, so really, we are expecting a clear weather day here for us which is in store. Here's a look at the computer forecast model just to see for yourself. We are looking at very, very nice and clear skies, maybe just a couple of clouds here and there between Pecos and Odessa Midland Metro. But other than that, it is shaping up to be a really, really nice day. Check out by four o'clock, clear skies all associated with high pressure that will be in control of our weather pattern here coming up over the next couple of days. Now, as we head into this weekend, same deal, except temperatures here will be rather hot, and I'll show you that here coming up in just a little bit. Our winds here will be around the 5 to 10 mile per hour range for most of us, which is good news, so definitely not windy. However, our winds may pick up here just a little bit as high pressure begins to uh, sweep in control of our weather pattern here off towards the east. And uh, as a result, our winds here will be generally here out of the south and west for most of us in those wind speeds here around 15 to 20 miles per hour. And high pressure will be in control of our weather here for the next couple of days, which is going to be why we're going to see those nice weather conditions and our wind speeds maybe slightly pick up a little bit as well. Sunny today, trending hotter, yes, for the weekend, but overall, great weather out there. Get on out there and enjoy that weather. Head to the pools, have a picnic outside, whatever you got to do just to enjoy that. Soak up the nice weather that we have because we have missed it here over the last few days. Sunny skies between the uh, all day long here, high of 88 degrees. Some of us, though, could get a little bit hotter with temperatures in the low 90s. Now, speaking of those temperatures behind me, we got temperatures in the low 50s. Some areas like Wink checking in at 49 degrees. Let's take a look at those forecast highs across the basin. So, starting with you here in the northern basin, 84 for Seminole and up towards 83 for Lovington, 82 for you in Tatum. So we're generally looking at the low to mid 80s for you. Central Basin, you are checking in here at temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, 85 for you in Rankin, and 84 in Big Lake. Trans Pecos, you're looking at temperatures in the mid 80s, 89, very close to 90 degrees in Dryden. And lastly, we'll take a look at the mountains. You are looking at temperatures generally on the cool side since you are in the higher elevations out there, 81. And up, 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 all the way up towards 80 or 88 degrees for you in Big Spring. So, yes, some areas could even hit the lower 90s down there. But I think for the most part, you should be checking in rather nice and mild. So, for your seven day outlook, we are looking at temperatures in the upper 80s for most of us. And those temperatures maybe just drop down a little bit here for Friday. But then by this weekend, temperatures really begin to heat up at least 10 degrees above average here for Saturday and Sunday with temperatures in the lower 90s. Nice and hot here for us. All right, I'm looking forward to that warm up. Definitely take care of yourselves today. Be sure that you're staying hydrated, especially for spending long amounts of time outside as well. Yeah, absolutely. And you're definitely gonna have to need that for this weekend when temperatures mm -hmm. really heat up here into the 90s, that's for sure. All right, well, thanks for those weather updates, Derek. But now it's time to see what's happening in sports.